Hello everybody, my name is Matt and this is Real World Review. Today I will be showing you how to remove and replace the back on the HTC One M7. There are some videos out there that show you how to remove the back, but most people assume that the back will be destroyed and that's just not true. Honestly, it is pretty easy to replace if you have some repair experience. Anyways, let's get started. All you need for this repair is a plastic pick and some heat. That's it. So take out the SIM card tray and use that area to start prying. If you're having trouble, you can use something thin like a blade to get into this area, but generally a pick works. Now you will use this to cut through the adhesive that's holding the side together. This side has weak adhesive while the other has very strong adhesive. The rest of the phone is held in by clips. I find it easier to use this area to open up the bottom and the top portion. Just make sure to do it carefully. Once the back is lifted up on three sides, we can start using some heat. While adding heat, I have my fingers wedged into the frame so I can feel the adhesive getting softer. Also make sure not to use too much heat. Once it's soft enough, carefully use a pick to pry on the top and work down to the bottom. Remember that there is a cable above the volume buttons, so don't pry too far in. Also, I'm just carefully prying on the back. I don't want it to bend back too far or I could possibly damage the plastic sides. And now, it has been removed without any damage done to the plastic sides. Hopefully this all made sense to you and yours came out the same way. For some reason, it's a little bit hard for me to explain how to remove the back without destroying it. You can see that HTC put some weird gel glue to hold the back panel down, and to be fair, it worked pretty well. Well, there's also some clips holding it in, but anyway. To put the panel back on, just start at the top like shown and add pressure on all sides to clip the panel back into place. And here's how the phone turned out after I fixed the screen. And that's it. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or on Twitter at MattOfRWR. And feel free to follow me on the social media listed above.
Also, make sure to subscribe for more how-to and review videos. Thanks for watching.